Hey everyone, it's TRVS back with another gameplay commentary. And today we have a gameplay on Express 12v12 domination with the FFAR. It's like the FAMAS from BO1, it kind of reminds me of that. But it's very underrated. I recommend, you know, you guys going to check out this gun on um, Black Ops Cold War. But, anyways, I'm using dual wield magnums and secondary. So I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. But today I just wanted to give a channel update on the games I will be covering in the future and what to expect on this channel moving forward as to, you know, the type of content that I will be putting out there. And I want a, a layer of uniqueness to, to be added to that. So. The type of content you always see from me will be original and it won't be the same rehashed content you'll get from other YouTubers like, for instance, best class setup videos daily and stuff like that. You're not going to get that from me. You're going to get insightful intellectual content that, you know, gives my opinions and uh, feedback on different topics and issues within the gaming industry and uh, different game communities such as Call of Duty, which I've done a few videos on already. So I just want to give an overview about what games I will be covering in my videos here soon and what you can expect to see as far as gameplays, commentaries, and walkthroughs and whatnot. So, you know, coming up on Friday, actually June 11th for most people, but tomorrow night, Thursday evening, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart will be releasing. It's a huge release for the PS5. I'll be playing through that game and I'll probably have some gameplay of the boss fights and whatnot as like a compilation kind of. Um, I don't think I'll do commentaries because the gameplay speaks for itself, but I think that'll be interesting because it is one of the biggest launch launches of the year for the PlayStation 5 because it, because it is an exclusive. And I recently played the Resident Evil 8 Village and I did about two playthroughs of it. I was considering making videos on it, but I'm not a huge fan of the first person, you know, perspective in that, you know, in that game. So I, I want to wait till third person comes back and uh, makes a return to really start covering that game uh, thoroughly in my videos. But I really did enjoy that game. I do recommend going to play it if you haven't played it yet. It is a phenomenal game. It'll probably have DLC, but if it's paid DLC, I won't be buying it because Resident Evil 7 had paid dlc2 and it was kind of lackluster according to a lot of people so i just i wouldn't really uh spend your money on that as far as that goes but i want to get into the games later down the line now so you know in my childhood during my childhood i played lego star wars a lot on the like the ps2 ps3 the old games and you know they were phenomenal back in the day and there's actually going to be a huge uh, lego star wars game coming out probably quarter four 2021 later this year or quarter one 2022 they haven't announced the release date yet it's going to be made and uh, developed by telltale games so we'll see uh as far as the release date goes here within the next you know month or two months i imagine but it's basically going to be um you know a huge game it's called the title is lego star wars the skywalker saga so it's going to be all of the you know the original trilogy games and they're they're all going to have a different spin on it so it's not just going to be a remaster it's going to be more like um i, I want to say it's going to be like revamped gameplay styles and it's just, it's gonna you know have a new game with it as well much like uh lego star wars the force awakens which i played through as well but it's gonna you know compose all of the six original movies in one game so it's gonna be a lot of content to cover so you'll most likely see gameplays and commentaries with that game and i want to go on to fall guys which i played actually um since you know august and it was season one so i might cover that you know in a few videos for season five when it's coming out in a few weeks but yeah um you know just some wins and gameplays of that game because i am pretty good at that game but i have like probably 400 500 ones but i'll cover some uh yeah gameplay you know that game for sure too but i want to get on to the next scheduled release which is back for blood that this is essentially left for dead left for dead 2's successor and it, it'll play really a lot of you will be familiar with it because left for left for dead 1 and 2 were you know developed by valve studios and they were going to develop left for dead 3 but it got handed over to the turtle rock studios for the development cycle so that game looks really good it looks very promising and i i like zombie games like that it's gonna be a first person shooter so i'll definitely be covering that in a lot of my videos going forward and the release date for that is scheduled to be October 12th, later this year, October 12th, 2021. So, you know, stay tuned for another few months and I will be covering that game. And I wanted to save the best for last as far as, 
yeah, the game that I, I've been most excited for for years now, since the first one released in 2015, I believe, 2016. It released a f- like five or six years ago, but Dying Light 2, Stay Human, is it's one of the huge releases this year for me my you know in my gameplay videos as far as that goes and that's going to be the game i'm probably going to cover the most extensively besides call of duty is dying light 2 stay human because i sunk hundreds of hours into the first game and i'm beyond excited for the second game to come out i will probably have some cooperative gameplays as well with my friends who end up getting that game because it's it's a it's a great co-op game the first one was as well but the second one is poised to be even better and greater than the first one so i'll cover you know gameplay of that have commentaries with that game maybe walkthroughs tips and tricks videos as far as that game is concerned there's gonna be a lot of content in that game so expect a lot of videos being put out for me in the future in, with regards to that game but i just wanted to give a channel update as far as um which games i will be playing and uh what what the schedule is looking like within the next few months and i want to thank everybody for all the support recently and you know checking out my channel and being here for the ride with me and it's it's been fun just kind of um you know conjuring up ideas to create my own unique content and then just seeing where this goes you know on youtube and i couldn't uh find the motivation without you know with all you guys watching me but anyways i want to thank you guys for all watching today and I want you guys to all stay safe and have a great day. Thank you. 